Welcome back to Parker's Place, the low-budget show, the show where we talk about random shit. Today, we're going to be talking about my generation and why we're screwed, and the big-ass rock in my yard. Let's get into it. Alright, first topic for today is my generation and why we are screwed. Now, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who haven't figured it out yet, yes... I am Gen Z, and yes, it breaks my heart to say that. I've never felt like I'm a part of my generation. I've always been super detached from them. I said that in a previous episode, uh, episode two, I believe. And uh, yeah, I don't get my generation. And one of the problems with my generation and why we are screwed is because a majority of them are a bunch of sensitive little bitches. There's really no other way to put it except that my generation... A majority of them are sensitive little bitches. They just get pissed off about everything. They get offended by everything. And here's what I have to say to my generation about that. Get the fuck over it, okay? Just chill the fuck out. Put your phone down for a day. So yeah, there you go, Gen Z. Get the fuck over it. It's not that big of a deal. It's probably not. All right, another reason my generation is screwed is because, well... They use Wikipedia to support their crazy-ass conspiracy theories on TikTok. Yep, you heard me right. So, I've been going on TikTok lately to better understand my generation, and the one thing that I have learned is that they love their conspiracy theories, but they love to use Wikipedia. And we're the most recent generation to graduate high school, where our teachers told us don't use Wikipedia. It's not a reliable source. And yet, they're out here on TikTok spreading their conspiracy theories about traveling to another dimension and their conspiracy theories about that one rapper who, like, isn't dead and he faked his own death and I, I don't... I don't even know, man. I don't even understand half the conspiracy theories. All I know is they use the green screen filter and I can see that they're using Wikipedia. So, anyway, Gen Z is screwed. <sighs> and I hate to be a part of it. Alright, next topic for today is the big-ass rock in my yard. Now, technically, it's not my yard because I still live with my parents, so it's my mom and dad's yard. But anyway, there's this big-ass rock that's in the way. And my dad wants to redo the yard and make it look nice and all this shit. But he wants to get rid of this rock. And, um, we've tried to break it up into little pieces so we can move it. Well, it didn't work very well. <laughs> So my dad and I were talking about it the other day, and I looked my dad dead in the eye and said, Dad, you want to get rid of that rock? Just Minecraft that bitch. And he went, what? And I said, we have a pickaxe. Just go out there and start swinging at it like in Minecraft. It'll eventually break. And so he told me, well, why don't you give it a shot? So today, I gave it a shot. I actually recorded myself doing this because... Why the hell not, right? So, uh, here's me minecrafting this big-ass rock. Let's check it out. Get it? I was minecrafting the rock, right? Because I was just... Because that's how it does it in Minecraft. You just go like this. Anyway, I actually hit the rock, too, with the pickaxe, and the results may surprise you. So, um, obviously I took a video of that, too. So, uh, let's, let's check it out. I broke the fucking pickaxe. No fucking way. All right, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Go ahead and leave it down in the comments below what you want to hear me talk about in the next one. And as always, stay groovy. So you saw the clip. Obviously, I played it, but check it out. That is the handle of the pickaxe. I, uh, I honestly didn't even know I was strong enough to do that shit. Maybe it's just the rock that's strong enough. But, um... Here's the head of the pickaxe. I fucked up that pickaxe.